Hey, Leo. So this is going to be your summer solstice reading. Um, happy birthday. This is your season. You, Cancer, and Virgo. So it seems like this season of summer, you're going to be breaking fully out of your shell. Okay, really showing up and being big, that big solar energy it is that you are, you know, and really connecting with the fullness of, of you, you know, not that you need uh, permission or anything to be full, but just more so connecting or being in, I should say, of the authenticity of who it is that you are at its fullest so let's see close this out we're gonna go ahead and get started in pulling these cards first we're doing these readings a little bit differently i'm gonna pull the roll these dice here and we are gonna pull a card for each dice and so make sure you're paying attention to the things it is that you have a hold on, right? And that your group is, is solid, you know? That means just basically paying attention to the details and um, before you take off on anything for that matter. And so we have Saturn and Scorpio in the ninth house for Leo. So this is, you may be learning something um, when it comes to discipline in discipline in regards to things that are hidden, things that are of a um, more spiritual nature, right? But is the workings of, of, of not necessarily the universe, but um, of, of magic in a sense, like of, of occult aspects of things. You could also be feeling a little bit restricted, some of you guys, in regards to um, your family traditions, right? Especially when it comes to beliefs and you may be breaking out of that shell of that, you know, really doing the work to come up out of it, to really rebirth and, and tap into a new alignment of your beliefs. Um, and, and come away from any type of power struggles that may have not been serving you. You may also be coming in contact with teachers who are going to help you align with better um, discipline, with better organization, with the work it is that you can do to serve you in the rebirth of your path, your journey, where it is that you're going, right? But you may just now be fully into um, being committed, being very devoted to your path, right? To who it is that you are truly, to your personal sense of sovereignty, right? And, and, and being unwavering in that, you know? Um, and this is also bringing really strong and unconditional, um, well, we could say it has conditions with Saturn, but more so than anything, um, with it being in the ninth house, it is, is there are less conditions involved. It's a little bit lighter. Although Saturn and Scorpio can be very heavy energies, the house placement really um, lightens it up for you. You know, but more than anything, it's, it's about you being committed. Yeah, because under Scorpio, we have the four of sticks here. So you're finding success in... Um, in your home life, in your intimate relationships, right? Being in the, what it is that you choose to devote yourself to, what, it, what you choose to be disciplined under, right? But also removing any karma in regards to your stability, to your relationships, to um, having what it is that you desire to have, right? Really connecting to that spirit self of you and manifesting um, the resources as well it is that you need in order to carry these things out for that success, for that um, attainment of having a thing. You're also coming out of this space of the power struggles in regards to finding the, the success, the stability, um, you know, the connections that you have been building up until this point, you know, and really allowing the old to die and the new to come in with that. And it's being very fulfilling for you, 
Okay. Very um, exciting as well. Something new. Wow. Wow. Okay. So under Saturn here, we have the 10 of baskets. So this is emotional fulfillment. Um, do also make sure that you're not trying to escape or um, bypass doing whatever it is that you need to do, right? Whatever work, whatever it is that you need to be committed to, um, you need to go ahead and do that because it's going to bring you that emotional fulfillment it is that you're seeking, right? Really going to bring you those, those relationships that, is, that reflect that loving Leo energy that you are. If this not, is not already present for you, you know, and they're going to be very committed. Um, you're going to be very committed to them. They're possibly also going to be supporting you and helping you with um, building, finding success within your life. And sometimes, you know, and success is whatever it is that you see it as. But Leo, this feels like it is... Um, it has to do a lot with just home life, family, you know, and connections that are dear, near and dear to you. Okay, so spirit, what else is here for Leo? So um, if you are having any blockages that are coming up or feeling stifled in regards to that emotional fulfillment, know that that is an invitation for you to do the work because under the ninth house, we have John Horse, right? And that's very, very fitting for the ninth house and i say that because this is about being in your own personal authority this is ruled by aries aries is all about autonomy right being yourself doing what it is that you do but it is also about making sure that you're having the, the spiritual working behind it making sure um, perhaps you need to connect with people who are on a spiritual level that can give you good advice to support you going forward in your journey. You probably will be coming in contact with a teacher who is going to be supporting you in that. They may be in Aries, okay? Because at the bottom, we got them bones, okay? And this is that judgment card energy. So you are really birthing new life. You're answering the call, what it is that it is time for you to do, what is yours, what belongs to you, you know, in, in letting go any um, apprehension, letting go anything that does just not working anymore. The, the judgment energy is like the phoenix rising, basically. All right, this is that what was dead coming back to life. All right, so really getting in tune with that inner child energy, really balancing that yin and that yang energy, really being into your ideas and making it happen, putting the real work in, in that and being consistent in that, having balance within your world. This is not about duality, it's about polarity. All right, which are, are two different things okay so you are really coming into harmony within your world <clears throat> right and look you got devotion here all right so all that it is that you have sacrificed that you've chosen to sacrifice that you're choosing to sacrifice everything that you have cho chosen to surrender to um you know, to, to get to where it is that you are and do what it is that you have been doing, it, it is, it's worth it. You know, it is definitely uh, supporting you and fulfilling your dreams, making those real and, um, and, and really supporting you, right? Because that's what devotion is, right? It's a, about uh, another coming into your life or perhaps um, you just being devoted to yourself, you being in your own life and being devoted to what it is that you're doing, what you're choosing, right? So um, you may also be coming into a space of unconditional love within yourself, but also feeling very unconditional in regards to connecting with other people in your, who, who resonate with you, who love you, you know, in you, Leo, sometimes your love can come with conditions, right? You got this, this, this Saturn and, and Scorpio card here, and um, sometimes Saturn and Scorpio can be hard to please, you know. Um, but it feels like that you are coming into this space of truly accepting yourself and what it, is, where it is that you're going, what you're doing, and who you are, right? And through that, being able to. Um, accept others in the same regard right because 
that is really the only time that we can really be unconditional in our connection with another, right? And really just um, at ease with who another person is. So make sure that you are filling yourself up. You know, you are really taking that time to tap into the depth of who it is that you are truly, truly, you know, and, and, and letting that reflect through what it is that, that you're choosing to do, the choices it is that you are choosing to make, okay? What else is here? here. There's also going to be some transformation happening in regards to um, your values, but more so about how you go about embodying that and living that out, right? Really being very true to yourself and honest as well about that um, and, and living that out. What is spirit? Okay. Yeah, very strongly about relationships um, and unions. So... It's a lot of relationship energy here, Leo, because we have here the mermaids rock, and this is a number 21. So for one, this is the world card. Something is completing, something you have won. You have made it to the finish line, the kind of energy, you know, and really um, taking, taking that next step into your life. Um, in, in whatever aspect that that may be, okay? So this is basically like your prayers have been answered. You are coming to that space of, of true fulfillment within your relationships, within yourself. You know, again, that whole yin-yang balance and being whole within who it is that you are, right? And this may be coming through aspects of your giving and receiving, um, being very open, being very receptive to the things that is that is surrounding you um, or just what is in your world. You're really creating your reality um, come summertime. You may already be doing that seriously, you know, um, but definitely make sure that you are not holding on to things that that don't serve, like let the past go, let that karma go, truly, you know, let, let what needs to die, die, let your, allow yourself to see things from a higher perspective, right, shift the belief it is that is needed so that you can be fulfilled and be open to receiving the blessings it is that are here for you, that are coming for you, okay, so let's see. What else is here? What crystal do we have here for Leo? This summer energy. Crystal for Leo. Crystal for Leo. Okay, so we have here the honey calcite. It's very much so your energy. It speaks about breaking through your limits. You know, use it when the barriers to abundance feel too big to power through. When it's time to stop waiting your turn and and stop waiting until tomorrow. Picture yourself triumphant on the other side of whatever stands in your way and call on honey calcite to kick in the door, All right? So this also facilitates you in movement, All right? This is sacral chakra energy. And sacral chakra energy, that's the energy that, that propels the movement of the world, right? Of, of the universe is that creative energy, is that sexual energy as well. So. Um, you know, you may be, um, again, really into the creative energies in, uh, in regards to your life, right? And there may be some, there can, could be some um, pregnancy as well that is here, that energy is here, but it's definitely an invitation to really get out of your head and into your body, you know, and into how it is that you're feeling and what it is that you truly desire to create, you know, what is it that you, that you see for yourself, get you a honey calcite, work with it, sleep with it, um, meditate with it, pray with it, 
leave it in the car, carry it with you. Just see what comes up as you are working with this stone, right? And take the time it is that is needed for you to really connect um, with, with yourself so you can recognize where it is within you that you are doing you that you where you can take responsibility for your own limits for your own obstacles it is that are presenting for you in your world All right now you might also um be getting into if you're not already um into like some some type of ritual work some type of occult knowledge may also be supporting you um, throughout this time, right? Things that are hidden, but learning, it's something about learning how things are structured and this really allowing you to um, get to the other side, right? At this time, for these next five months, Saturn is going to be in retrograde, right? So everything it is that you are, are working through, healing, re reorganizing, re redoing okay it's bringing you that emotional fulfillment it is that you really desire right and it's also fulfilling you with these harmonious relationships in your life it says i know in my heart that when something feel is right it feels easy breezy even though that sounds cheesy with this in mind i banish all stress insecurity and tedious work from my relationships then i invite harmonious relationships into my life and let them show up on their own time easy breezy things are rarely punctual right so you are you're letting go of the relationships that that either come with just a lot of drama a lot of baggage a lot of too much of anything that doesn't align with a harmonious expression in nature okay so let's see what else is here spirit for leo you and you're definitely learning something new this summer. <clears throat> something of a, maybe you're choosing to go back to school for something or coming into just a new spiritual practice, All right? So it says, don't take it personally. So there may be something coming up in regards to your relationships, people who you're connected with, um, people who you are just people who you have intimate relationships. It doesn't necessarily have to be your spouse, right? So uh, this just could be people um, around you. Either way, whether it is about people within your world or somebody that you're just meeting, right? However it is that they're showing up, don't take it personally. It says if someone starts to speak to me unkindly, I remember they've got something going on that has nothing to do with me. Like maybe they just pooped in their pants. Yes, that's probably it. <laughs> okay. So um, take time to one, not be so defensive in regards to how people are showing up because you know, people be having their own reasons for doing whatever and saying whatever it is that they do and say. But at the end of the day, these things really don't be having anything to do with us, you know, um, because people choose responses based on whatever it is that they're used to. And with that, that's also <clears throat> makes me want to say, recognize where this is happening because, you know, we, we create our reality. So, our minds can only conceive what it is that we're used to experiencing. So choose to conceive something different in whichever way it is that that needs to happen for you. Okay, so let's see, Spirit, what else is here? So we have the new moon. So you're planting new seeds, okay? You are nurturing, transitioning into something new. Perhaps your home, you may be moving um, this summer. Yeah, you're definitely moving this summer, okay? And um, and just rebirthing, and, and this is really bringing you something very beautiful, something it is that you have been desiring, something that you want to have, right? It, it, that aligns with what you, what you value, attaining the resources, and it may be something shared with someone. Granted, it could be something on your own where you just are needing to get a loan or could... Uh, get a bank, do something with a bank or, or something like that. But either way, um, 
you definitely are, are taking a new step into new territory, planting new seeds, right? And really embracing the aspect of newness and also releasing what it is that is, it just um, keeps you kind of uh, in the darkness, I should say. Okay, so let's see what else is here for Leo Spirit. <clears throat> What else is here for Leo? For Leo. Your tablet's probably not frozen. Make sure you're seeing things clearly, Leo. Okay. What else is here for you, Leo? Um, this says Amazon service. Okay, and then you also have here first quarter moon. So not only are you planting new seeds, you are also, the roots are also growing. They are also grounding themselves into, into the soil as well. This is the three of feathers. So again, a lot of balance and harmony that is coming forward for you within your world. Okay, this is about reflecting and taking advice, challenges, momentum, the marathon continues, it's time to commit. Let go of dreams you aren't serious about and focus on what's important to you. The extension of roots and emergence of the shoot emergence of the shoot above ground. So not only are you planting new seeds, they are also budding. Okay, and there is, again, going to be someone who comes in or who is already present that is going to help you and support you in um, being able, like, going to support you in this new growth, right? It's going to really be able to help you get grounded in that balance that it is that you were building in your life, being very focused on the truth aspect of things, the true, the Okay, and it, this is coming out under the ninth house. And the ninth house is about truth, all right? It is about um, not your truth, the truth, that which is unchangeable, that which is universal, that which is on a collective expression, right? So um, we have the railroad here. So it's definitely gonna be a journey moving forward, you are very focused on your path, all right, and being very committed to it, and, you know, just really, in a sense, going with the flow. Um, it may be feeling slower than you like, and that may only be because Saturn is in retrograde, so after Saturn comes out of retrograde, which is, what is this, June, July, August, September, October, so in October, come fall season, things will begin to pick up fully. Not that things won't be, it will be like a lot of leg work during the summertime, but after the summer passes, all the leg work, all, all, all that you have put into it will definitely um, manifest that ease, right, that you are desiring, whatever type of love. Uh, whatever type of stability that you're desiring within things being pleasantly um pleasantly un not non-burdensome <laughs> you know so what else is here here is for my lovely leos what else is here so yes whatever it is that's coming up for you just say yes right because this is what it is that you are that's that's meant to happen you have transformation here twice you have it in these cards and you also have it in the um the astrology cards okay so uh things are are shifting for you they are changing for you for real you whoever this person is that is showing up in your life these people um they are really Okay, so definitely, definitely say yes to, okay, so what you're saying yes to is going to open you up to um, be able to shine your light, it seems, in a way. It's really going to bring that happiness and joy um, and fulfillment it is that you are desiring to have within your life, within your world, 
Okay, so we are going to pull one last card here. Let's see what we have. Okay, yeah. So we have here self-care. All right, it says, before trying to please others, think of what makes you happy. And the this is a pearl, right? So this is almost like the world is your oyster kind of energy. You have the ability to do what it is that you want to do, how it is that you want to do it. But you first have to make sure that you're taking care of yourself, saying yes to you, right? And sometimes that looks like uh, devotion to the self, but also devotion to what is yours, what it is that you're building before you can go out, right, and, and be supportive of another person. And the relationships it is that are necessary within your world for you to be able to do this, they are coming about, right, and going to really take it, take you um, forward, forward movement, going to support you in that leg work it is that you are putting in, you know, and anybody who has a problem with this, let them, <laughs> don't, don't take personally um, about as far as what it is that others have to say about what it is that, the, that you're choosing to do, what choices it is that you are deciding to make, because at the end of the day, that your choices is your life and they don't know it. Okay. So Leo, I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope that this blesses you. Okay. I hope that you have a wonderful summer and have a really fun and joyous time and um, really connect with all of those that you love, right? And, and that you begin to see the world through new eyes, Okay, see yourself through new eyes as well. Okay, so yes, I will see y'all in the fall. Bye.